So hello guys, I want us to look at how you can add tables on dashboard. Uh, this dashboard of mine here has the forms and reports. So I want to add the tables. So I can just go to this point here and then type tables. Tables. I want to add the tables so you can still do the formatting. Like for instance, I want this one to be bold and black. So the first thing you create macros and for that case here I have employee table orders and products and the other so let's start by adding employee table. So what you go you do you go to create once you go to create here you go to create then you go all the way to uh, macro you hit on macro. So this dialog box comes you just type open table. Once you click on open table and press enter, it will ask you for the table name. So you just go and choose the table name. Like for instance, here I have my tables. So I want to choose the table employee. Then save that one. So I save that one as open employee table. That is macro number one. Again, guys, I go at this point and close. Then I repeat, I go to create and then I go all the way to macro. Then here you type you type open table. Then you choose the table name. Like now we have the table products. Then once I do that, I just now save this one as open table products. Like that. Then I can right click here, cross. Then let me create or that's the last one. So I go to create. Then I go to macros, then open, open here. We just type open, open table, then orders like that. Then save this one, save this one as open table, uh, table orders. Then once you are done, uh, the last thing, you, you do that for all the tables. Then the next thing, I want to bring them here to look similar with this one. So I go to design, then I hit on the command button, then I draw the command button here. Uh, the control wizard or the command button wizard opens, so I go to miscellaneous. So here I go to miscellaneous, then run macro, then I go to next. Like for example, open employees table, I choose that one, then here I choose text. So here I just uh, write open, that is employees table. Like that, I click on finish. So that one is there again, guys. I go back to create uh, that is design. I click on this button again. I draw my next button there. Go to miscellaneous, run macro. Next, I choose the next table, it's orders table. So here it is order, uh, orders, orders table. Uh, finish the last three. I create the next table. Just go to design, hit on the command button, come to this point, uh, draw it, go to miscellaneous, run macro, text, uh, next, sorry, open table products, text, then here, uh, that is uh, products, that is the products table. Then I click on finish. Now, once I'm done with this one, I can now just give them the clear finish, right, uh, to be similar with the others. Like, for example, you can just uh, uh, do as I am doing. You can adjust the, the length, the width, etc. So here, I can just now need to format them accordingly. I just change the color as I wish, like that. So this is how you create tables. Then once you are done, just save the, the dashboard and then run it. For example, here I just go to where the dashboard is main, I run. So once I hit on employees table, you see it opens the employee tables. Once I click on orders table, it opens the orders table. Once I click on product table, it opens the product table. So guys, that's how you create uh, tables or how you display tables on your dashboard using macros. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like and share my videos.